Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at how we would differentiate a uh, expression such as x to the power of n. So here is the little rule that you need to remember then. If y equals some number times x to the power of n, then the differential of this is going to be now the n on the power. The first thing you need to do is multiply it at the front. And then the second thing you need to do is reduce that power by 1. So it goes in a two-step process, really. Take the power number and multiply it at the front, and then take away 1 from the power number. So this is our function, and this is our derivative. So this is the formula we use to work out the gradient for a certain value of x. OK, um, exactly the same thing going on here, just slightly different notation with f of x's. So if f of x equals ax to the power of n, then it's an f dash, which represents the differential, equals n times a, uh, x to the power of n minus 1. So your two-step process here is multiply power at the front. So that's your first step. And then your second step is to subtract 1 from power. OK, so two steps to differentiate x to the n. Uh, this notation here was uh, just invented by two different mathematicians, um, but effectively they mean the same thing, and you need to be familiar with both of the different sets of notations. Right, OK then, so um, let's uh, have a go at a few questions here. So f of x equals x to the 6, and we want to find f dash of x for each of these expressions. So the first thing we do then, following our two-step process, is to get the 6 and multiply it at the front. So it's now 6 times 1 effectively, so 6 at the front. And then 6 take away 1 is 5, so it's 6x to the power of 5. Another little bit more difficult one here, x to the power of a half, or in other words, square root of x. Um, so you take the half and you multiply it at the front, so it's now a half multiplied at the front, and then it's x, and you do one, uh, you do a half, take away one, which will give us now minus a half. So this is one over two, x to the minus half. And if we needed to write this as a single fraction, then it'd be best to think about this as splitting up the uh, x to the power of minus a half with the half, uh, writing the x to the minus half as a third, and then combining them back together, so it's 1 over 2 root, two, two root x. OK, some more ones here. So f of x equals x to the minus 2. So minus 2 gets multiplied to the front, and then it's minus 2. Take away another 1, so it's minus 3. OK, how would we write this in terms of a uh, function of x? So we would uh, split up the x to the minus 3 with the minus 2. We would rewrite the power of x as a um, fraction, and then we'd group the 2 back together, so it's minus 2 over x cubed. A classic mistake here would be to assume that the 2 is powering by the minus 3 as well, and uh, you could get something like minus 1 over 8x cubed, which would just be wrong. The 2 is on its own. That's going to stay on the numerator the whole time. OK, uh, in this question here, f of x equals x squared times x to the power of 5. So just simplify these terms to get an x to the power of 5, and then do your differentiation. So you don't differentiate these bits separately. Um, you, you combine them together, or if there are brackets, you expand the brackets first and then you differentiate after that. OK, same here, we need to simplify this uh, bit of algebra first, and then, then we can differentiate. So the minus 4 comes to the front, reduce the power by 1, and we get a minus 5 on the power there. OK, just rewriting this term as an expression of x. So treat the x to the minus 5 as 1 over x to the 5 and times them back together, and you get minus 4 over x to the power of 5. OK, another one here with a number at the front now, so it's 7x cubed. So the 3 is now going to multiply by the 7 to make a 21, and the 3 gets reduced by 1 to a 2. 
In this case here, minus 4x to the power of half, so the half times is by the minus 4, so that will now be minus 2, and then we reduce 1 uh, from the power, so it's now minus a half. So minus 2 from times in the half by the minus 4, and then we're going to split this up and write it as a surge with a fraction in it. So minus 2 over root x. Okay, in this expression here, we're going to have to split up this uh, square root um, using these, the rules of square roots. So we rewrite this as the square root of 36 and the square root of x cubed. Now the square root of 36, that's just 6, and the square root will be representing a power of a half. So it's x to the 3 to the power of a half, and when we've got two powers of each other, we multiply those powers together. Now what we do is we multiply 3 over 2 by 6, and reduce the power by 1. So it's now 9x to the power of a half, because 3 over 2 take away 1 is 1 half. Let's just uh, rewrite this as 9 root x. Right then, your turn to have a go at some questions. Pause the video and have a go at these. Right, okay, let's have a go through these then. So dy by dx, in this case here, um, so the 7 multiplies to the front, and then it's x, and then we reduce the power by 1 to a 6. In this case here, dy by dx, you multiply the third to the front, and then it's going to be x, and we reduce a third by 1. So a third take away 1 is going to now be minus 2 thirds. So it's to the power of minus 2 thirds. Now how would we write this as a root? Well, it'd be 1 over 3, and then it'd be the third root of x being squared. Now the third doesn't get mixed up in any of this power stuff. The third just stays by itself at the front. Differentiating 1 over x to the 5, well first I would rewrite this as x to the minus 5 and then differentiate, so dy by dx here is going to equal minus 5, from the minus 5 times into the front, and then x to the power of minus 6, because that's what we would get if we did minus 5 take away 1, we'd get minus 6. So this goes even further into the negatives. And in this case here, differentiate 1 over the square root of x, so the first thing I would do here is rewrite this as x to the power of minus a half, Hopefully you're familiar with that. And then we're going to times this minus a half to the front. And then it's going to be x, and we reduce the power by 1. So it's minus a half here, take away another 1, and you get minus 3 over 2. So it's minus 3 over 2. And how would we rewrite this as a big fraction? Where well, it's going to be 1 over 2. The 2 doesn't get involved in any of this power malarkey. Uh, and it's going to be x on the bottom, it's going to be the square root of x, and then we're going to need to cube it afterwards. So that's how we would simplify that answer there. Right, so thanks very much for watching. Have lots of practice on exercise 12c. Make sure you get, become really familiar with this, and uh, do it to the point at which it becomes second nature to you, because you're going to be doing it a lot in A-level maths. Thanks for watching.